given this figure that we have been able to produce in uh, 3d we want to draw this in isometric using AutoCAD or AutoCAD mechanical okay so we can open a drawing file the most important thing you want to do here though is to turn on isometric drafting which is this one here if you don't have ISO draft here you may want to go to customization and then look for isometric drafting which is this one and then check it now you can come to uh, the status bar and make sure it's turned on uh, I will turn on the line width okay so for this exercise I uh, would have to draw some circles so we'll draw what we call isometric circles now uh, obviously uh, isometric circles if we were doing technical drawing you get them from our ellipses so we could use any of the uh, ellipsoidal methods but here because uh, we're using a software what we would have to do is we'd have to go to draw and then ellipses here you can click on this drop down and then we can select um, the axis uh, end method now once you do that you'd see that here you'd have an iso circle so you click on iso circle and that is what we want okay so for the iso circle let's say we want the center to be 40 and then tap 40 and then enter so this is the iso circle and now for the uh the diameter required uh, we know that the diameter is um 60 uh, so the radius is going to be 30 like so okay so uh let me move that a little bit away okay so let's put it here i'll go to layers and then uh, increase the thickness of the layer that I'm working with so from default maybe to 0 0.3 and then okay all right then there is another one uh, so I'm going to use EL shortcut for ellipse and then I'll click on ISO circle here and for the next one you know that's basically the thickness so I'll track from the center distance of 10 and then the radius is same as the previous one which was 30 like that and then i can now get a line and what you want to do is you want to connect uh, this portion to you know the corresponding portion down there so uh, like that mm -hmm. so once you have tangency you can click so line let's probably go down the control key right click and then go to tangent and then tangent there and tangent below I think that works so TR for trim and we can trim that part and uh, this part and this other part okay all right so that will be the isometric base that we need and now to continue we'll still go for ellipse and then click on iso circle what we're looking for is still the the center of that iso circle and the radius here um, should be 15 so uh, ellipse again and then make sure you have iso circle and then we track from this point and the height that we're looking for is 50 so 50 and uh, the radius is going to be same as the previous one so 15 and then line you probably should go for 
hold down the control key right click go to tangent and then maybe see if we can get tangency so tangent and then tangent okay so uh, I can come to the isometric axis let me switch to left so line let's track this point maybe from here and then there okay and then TR for trim okay so we'll trim it later but uh, let's continue for now okay so we go back for ellipse now mind you we have to switch from the iso left to iso top okay so that's what i just did uh, and then we have the truncated cone so that should be a diameter of 20. Uh, okay so el for ellipse and then iso circle and we track from this point that should be 30 and then uh, 10 and now we can pan that okay so line and we can now connect from here to that point and then line we can connect from that point okay great so i think we can trim this part now what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw in some uh, center lines uh, to help me to position the groove so i'll click here and then what i want to do is um, I want to okay so auto mode is on so I'll draw a center line like that okay all right now we know that the distance here the distance of the groove there or its width is 10 millimeters of course if you want to calculate the actual arc length you can use C uh, which is the arc length is equal to 2 multiplying r where r is the radius of the arc uh, or multiplying the sine of theta uh, theta over 2 the angle made by the two radial lines which form the sector okay so uh, using that formula you can make theta the subject and that's uh, will help you to get what the angle is so if you calculate the angle of course for the formula that I've quoted the angle is going to be in radians so once you get the radians you have to convert it to um, the degree equivalent if you do that calculations you see that you get about um, uh, that's that's 39 uh, 39 degrees okay right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to find a way to measure that 39 degrees so uh, is there going to be a way to do it so let's say from here uh, i'll switch to am i want to use the am and then i'll get a line so from this point Mm -hmm. so from this point that that's 30 okay so 30 plus 39 that should be um, 69 okay so that's 69 degrees okay so now I can go back to uh, layer 0 and then I'll get line okay uh, the best thing I have to do here will be for me to switch click in here and then click on let's say ISO left and then I want to go up so let me turn on the auto mode so I go up by 35 
and then line again so from this point that's another 35 now I can redraw this arc up there okay so I would have to switch to isotope so isotope like that isotope and then ellipse now I want um, isocircle and obviously I'll track from this point a distance of uh, 35 right so that will touch uh, these two and now I can trim so I can trim this and that and obviously I can trim this internal part as well so this all of this will go away um, this back I could also go away now I'll get a line then connect this to that point and okay, so this basically would be the uh, solution required uh, of us